So today on Pat's Car Garage, a short little video dealing with um, the diesel fuel injectors on the OM642 engine. Now the story with this is we've had one injector diagnosed as bad at a dealership with a uh, star diagnostic computer, the number four injector, which is this one here. Apparently it returned too much fuel at the return, so uh, we haven't addressed it for a long time because the engine was still performing well and there was no smoke or any sort of smell that would indicate it was fueling too much right up until very recently we got a little bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust and a very strong smell of unburnt diesel so I figured this is probably the injector that failed given that it was already diagnosed as bad all the injectors checked out okay so um, according to the official procedure you have to there's a little code here stamped on the injector well not stamped but rather printed on the injector and the official story is you need to uh, add this code to this uh, to the engine control module so that the ECM can inject the correct amount of fuel. Now I think that that's a little bit bullshitful if I'm honest because you know it might be needed if you need the injector to be performing correctly right away but I suspect that over time the ECM can learn to trim individual injectors until you know they, they flow the correct amount of fuel but in either case my reasoning is that a stuck open injector which is putting way too much fuel in isn't as bad as a you know slightly miscoded rebuilt injector I'm gonna put it in I'll put a little bit of anti-seize on it just to help it come out if ever need be I put some anti-seize on this one and it was great it was very easy to remove uh, I'm gonna install the injector and this is gonna be a long-term video I'm gonna take a video of the engine uh, right after it starts up just to make sure it's running well but then I'll let the car run for some time and I'm gonna actually like I'm gonna come back to this and see if you know there's any issues with performance and that type of stuff and hopefully help some people out there that might also have trouble with these injectors okay so the engine seems to be working uh, it had no problem starting up I just cycled the key a few times to get rid of uh, any air that might have been inside of the fuel lines uh, once that was done the engine started right up and I just did a quick little run around the neighborhood no smoke nothing it seems to be running fine but I'm gonna make another update later on once we get the chance to do a little bit of highway driving to see if uh, if anything improves or if anything wasn't fixed uh, the HIDs just turned off there but uh, but yeah so I'm gonna drive around on the highway a little bit hopefully get some longer road trips in and see if the problems indeed fixed and how the engine behaves after a while so finally after a uh, about two months of driving I've got some great news you can absolutely replace the injector without coating it uh, the only initially the only thing that would have let you know something was off is once the engine was fully warmed up at idle uh, the pilot injection for that cylinder was pretty obviously wrong so that cylinder ran a little bit more loud than all the other ones but after a couple months driving the ECU had plenty of time to trim the uh, new injector and now it runs better than it ever has been I mean obviously fuel economy has improved dramatically because that injector is no longer dumping uh, fuel into the piston but yes absolutely so if you're considering if you have to replace your injector and you don't want to pay you know a thousand bucks to have it done at a dealer or you know 800 bucks to have it done at, a, at an independent mechanic then you can absolutely do it yourself it's not too hard uh, these injectors they are hard to find but if you look for long enough you can find rebuilt ones for about 500 and you get hundred and fifty dollars back if you send in uh, your old one and they accept it as a core and have it rebuilt uh, so yeah total we paid three hundred fifty dollars Canadian to replace this injector it's expensive but as long as you stay up to date with uh, your fuel filters and every once in a while you know run some form of uh, injector cleaner through the system I use two cans of diesel purge uh, by liquid molly uh, as long as you keep up with simple stuff like that you should never have a problem with uh, the fuel injectors in this car